looking for something we can rely on. There's got to be something better out there. Love and compassion, their day is coming. All else are castles built in the air. And I wonder when we are ever going to change, living under the fear till nothing else remains. We don't need another hero. We don't need to know the way home. All we want is life. Those words are from a wonderful religious song. We don't need another hero from the movie Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome, sung by Tina Turner. Now, I would not necessarily want to confront Tina Turner to her face dressed as she was in Thunderdome with all of that chain mail armor on. However, I would like to disagree with her. We do need another hero. We need a lot of heroes. We do need something to rely on, something better out there. We do need love and compassion because there is a lot of fear out there. But we don't need standard heroes, heroes we've got. You want standard heroes, we've got them. We've got action heroes. We've got superheroes. We got video games where you can be a superhero. You can be an action hero. You can kill all the enemy you want. You can conquer all of the terrible evildoers in the world. Those heroes we've got. What we need are special heroes. What we need are heroes who are going to help us make the world a better place. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a video game based on the life of Dorothy Day, or a video game based on the life of Mother Teresa, where the object of the game was not to kill as many people as you can within the time limit, but the object of the game was to help and care for and save as many people as you could within the time limit of the game. To bring peace and forgiveness and care to those who are unwanted within the time limit of the game. Now, what are the odds of a game like that ever being produced in this world today? Relatively little. We need those heroes nonetheless. We need to know that those of us who are on this journey to God are not all alone. We need to know there are others of us on this journey, and there are. People who are our heroes, who have lived lives of self-sacrifice and forgiveness, who have witnessed to the glory of God in creation laying down their lives as prophets and peacemakers and poets. And they are not strangers. They are not people who lived thousands and thousands of years ago in faraway countries. The heroes we celebrate on this All Saints Day are those members of our families, our friends, who have gone before us in faith, and who have been for us the ordinary heroes of our ordinary life. I think of my grandfather, God rest his soul. Came over here from Italy at 18 to avoid the Italian draft, but that's another story. Came over here with nothing. Raised a family, became successful, and was not just a successful man, but was a man of faith until he was in his mid-90s and couldn't get around well anymore. He went to church every single day. The enduring and enduring picture I have of my grandfather is him sitting by the window of his bedroom, which was right off the, the family dining room, with his little prayer book, this little tiny prayer book, that he brought over with him from Italy, that he was given for his first communion. And he received first communion, I think it was in 1900 or 1901. And he prayed from that book every day. First time I went to the Vatican, I picked him up a large print 
prayer book because his eyes were not good. And he thanked me greatly for that prayer book. But it was two or three years before his eyes really went when he would give up that little tiny prayer book he had to use the one that I had given him. And one of the things he prayed for day after day was my becoming a priest. I'm here today if for no other reason but the prayers of my grandfather. My grandfather was never a well-educated man. He had about a third or fourth grade education. He was not a perfect man by any means. My sore backside can attest to the fact of the number of times I got a whooping from my granddad. He raised a wonderful family. My father, God rest his soul, is another reason why I am here. And every one of us in our family has somebody. I can remember the little Jewish lady that lived next door to us. If we celebrate saints, we have to celebrate her. This poor woman crippled from arthritis, cared not only for her sick husband, but for all of us, too. Whenever we were sick, the six of us were sick, because, sick, you know, in a big family, one kid gets sick, everybody gets sick. So one of us got sick. My mother was smart. If one of us got sick, she made sure we all got sick, so we all got it and got it over with. But then she was stuck with six, six, six sick kids at home. Say that one three times fast. But yet, this little Jewish lady from next door came over every day we were sick, helped my mother clean, brought food over with us, wonderful chicken soup for us. That is a saint and a hero. It is those saints and those heroes that we celebrate today. They may never have a feast on the calendar. A book may never be written about them. You pick up Butler's Lives of the Saints and my grandfather's name is never going to be in there. But he is one of that multitude, uncountable multitude, who have endured the stress and the suffering and rest now with God, and who continue to intercede with God for me and my family as he did on earth. That's what we celebrate today on this All Saints Day. Those are the heroes we celebrate today. The heroes that truly inspire us, not necessarily to do tremendous things in tremendous ways, but to do the little things in little ways that God wants us to do every day that make the love and the forgiveness and the care of God alive in our own little families every day. That's what we celebrate today. Those are the heroes we celebrate today. Yes, we need a lot of heroes, and God has given them to us. My father, my grandfather, your aunt, your uncle, your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, your, your mother, your father, your great aunt Matilda, the lady that lived next door to you, all of those people who have inspired our lives in little tiny ways and now rest in the glory of God's kingdom, the communion of saints. We have our heroes. Thank you, Lord, for those heroes. And they journey with us this day.